Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the eccentricity in our structure. Uh, we then have to add 0.1b to the eccentricity. This is just a clause in the code. And then we're going to calculate the torsion. So for the eccentricity, what we're going to do is we're going to come to our center of rigidity and center of mass and find the distance between them in the x and y direction. So for the eccentricity x, we're going to be taking the absolute value of the difference. Okay, so we've got 12.13 is the x distance to the center of rigidity minus 12.49. 12.49 would give us the distance x between center of rigidity and center mass. Working that out, we get 0.36 meters. We're gonna do the same thing for the y direction. So the center, the eccentricity between the center of mass and center of rigidity is gonna be 13.51 minus 13.87. Taking the absolute value of that, we get 0 0.36 meters. So in either direction, the x and y, the eccentricity is 0.36 meters. Now the code says in AS 1170.46.6, so section 6.6 .6 is spe specifically for torsional effects, is, which is what we're doing now. So if we go to that section, let me zoom in. So if we go to that section, it says that um, the eccentricity, okay, so for each required earthquake action, blah, 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 blah. So as determined in clause 6.3 shall be applied to the position calculated is 0.1b from the nominal center of mass, okay? So we need to now add on 0.1b to this eccentricity. So b is just the um, width and length of our structure. So b we know is 26 meters. b is just 26 and 26, okay? So we're just gonna be adding on 0.1b, so 0.1 of 26 is 2.6 meters, and we just need to add that on to the eccentricity. The reason the code does this, it just makes it a worse case so that we have more torsion so that we need a, so we have a, a higher design load. So working out the new eccentricity, so we're just gonna be adding 2.6 to the eccentricity in the x and y direction, 